Hey everyone, I'm Danny Disher, and today we're going to be talking about the classic Squire Jaguar bass. I'll tell you what, I bought this thing and it has now become one of my favorite basses to play of all time. And I'm going to be honest with you, I was kind of shocked because I grew up during a time when Squires were not really the best, and my cousin was actually saying to me, hey, Danny, you really need to check out the Squires because I was looking to buy a new bass, and I was like, I do not play Squires, and he was like, I'm telling you, Squires are good. So I'll tell you what, I got this puppy on sale. Normally, this beautiful, sexy beast goes for about 450 bucks, but I got it on sale for like 250, brand new, right out of the box from Pro Audio Star, obviously a great website. If you ever check them out, go ahead and do it. And I got it, picked it up, and I'll tell you what, I just can't stop playing this. As you probably heard, it sounds killer. It freaking shreds. What's cool about it, what I like about it the most, obviously this is the one that's got the sunburst color. Love it. You got a black pick guard, right? Got a really cool fretboard. Very, very cool looking. Obviously you got this really cool Squire logo. Kind of looks like the classic Fender logo. Jaguar bass. You know what, the strings that Squires come with, the only thing I did was is I just replaced the strings, put some flat round strings on here, and I'm telling you, this baby sounds amazing. You can make it growl like a Jaguar, and that's why I love it so much. And even, it's cool because it's got like this dirty sound, and I play garage rock and roll and punk, so I mean like the fact that you can just freaking make it growl, like listen to this. It sounds like a freaking Jaguar in the jungle. I love it, I love it. And what's cool about this specific model is I love, it's got like the volume knob and the tone knob for both the P pickups and the J pickups. It's all in one. So here, right here, you got the volume for the P pickup and then you have the tone. Same thing for the J and then you can just kind of like you know, turn it and it's both back and forth. It is so freaking cool. I mean, you don't have like the switch it's all right here, baby. It is a very, very cool base, especially the best bang for your buck. $450, I'm gonna tell you what, this is just like a Fender guitar. A lot of people have issues with Squire. I see a lot of videos, people are kind of like, I mean, most people are like, oh, Squires are okay. No, I'm telling you, this is a freaking good guitar, especially for the money. And like I said, you can probably find it on sale and it's freaking amazing. I'm telling you, I play this at gigs. I play it during practice. I just play it for fun. I have Fenders and I play this more than I play my Fenders. That's how good the Squire is. It just sounds dirty and cool. So I don't know. I just, I got nothing bad to say about it. I mean, it doesn't sound exactly like a Fender Jaguar bass, I guess, in the sense of like, it's not, there is a little bit difference of a tone. Most people kind of can't tell the difference. I can always tell the difference when I'm listening to a Squire versus a Fender. There's always a minor, minor difference. I guess I just have an ear for it. But I'm telling you, this is cool. It has this little bit of a dirtier sound and it sounds freaking killer. It shreds so good. And you can also make it sound pretty. Like here, I'll play it right for you right now. Let's just do full, P pickups, right? So I'll turn off the J. So if you want to make this sound just like a P bass and have it like that beefy tone, just that classic, classic sound of a P bass, you can make this do this. Or if you just want to do, you know, the jazz version of it, you can just obviously turn the P pickups down. Turn up the J all the way. Let's see here. Yeah. See, and then you can also kind of like make it a little foggier. So it sounds good. And obviously with the J, you just have to turn up the knob a little bit to make it sound a little louder. But obviously it's got that cool jazz sound. But what I love to do with this, my favorite thing to do is I love my personal sound. I love to turn the P pickups all the way, turn the tone up all the way, turn the J up all the way, and pretty much turn the J tone all the way. And that's when you can make it sound like this growling sound where it's got like that beefy P bass tone, but it's also got that really cool kind of twangy, jazz bass sound from the J pickup and then you get that just that dirty kind of like I love it I just freaking love it Jaguar basses are now my favorite basses to play they're just freaking killer and what's cool about it is it's not 
all the way a, a 34 large neck, like a P base, and it's not a short scale 30. It's right in the middle, it's 32. So your fingers, as you can see, I don't really play like normal with bass. I always know like I kind of play classic, put my thumb on the fret and then I kind of move my hand around. I don't like to use all my pinky all the time. So you see, I play bass a little weird. But for people like me who just kind of like are garage rocky, just like to play, put your fingers here. It sounds cool and you know what? It's just that mid range and it feels good. So even when you're going up to the high notes, just put your fingers up there and it just, it's just easy. It doesn't hurt like on a P bass when you do it. It sometimes hurts to do it. This one you can just go real simple, make it sound pretty, you know? I'm just telling you, the classic vibe Squire, I'm telling you, it is a good, good buy, definitely a good guitar, and I love it. So has anyone ever tried it? Has anyone looked at it? Let me know what you think. Let me know down in the comments. Appreciate you watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.